So a lot of you guys out there are wondering why Matt Rule of uh, Nebraska was hating on Coach Prime. Uh, you're probably wondering why Dan Lanning of Oregon is hating on Coach Prime. Um, you're also probably, um, you know, wondering why uh, Colorado State's uh, coach, um, Jay Norvell, is hating on Coach Prime. It's because Coach Prime is a brother and Coach, uh, Coach Prime is doing things in an unorthodox way and getting uh, results. And it's, it's amazing. Like, yeah, there's a lot of people out here that love what he's doing, but there's a lot of people upset, a lot of people mad, right? Um, that the fact that he is succeeding, the fact that he has confidence in himself, confidence in his team, right? And they don't like the fact that they're not getting that attention. But you also have to understand that none of the guys I mentioned that were hanging on Coach Prime, uh, none of them ever went to the NFL. Um, none of them have ever played on the level that uh, Coach uh, Prime has played on when he was in the NFL. Um, and none of them were able to go from being a professional uh, NFL player to becoming a coach and being successful as well. So. They just went through the, the typical, usual route of how to become a coach, uh, but Coach, coach Prime did it a, a totally different way. But these individuals are insecure. I mean, when you don't like yourself, you study other folks, right? When you don't like yourself, um, you know, while they're living their best life, while they are, you know, being the best version of themselves, um, these individual coaches that I mentioned, Coach uh, Prime is living rent-free in their head. Right. Um, so it's it's very interesting. The fact that, um, you know, rather than just be happy about a peer, a colleague, um, you know, they're still viewing him as that like he's less than um, like his team is less than. I just didn't understand um, Dan Lanning's comment. I'm like, dude, you're like you're 37 years old, man. You're young. You, you just got into um, that prime time position. Like, just chill. You know, you might want to reach out to Coach Prime and learn something, right? Um, but you, you just see people just, they it's like Twitter fingers or people, or, um, you know, people get that uh, complex of when they get on the media and they're all rah, rah. Not, none of them will probably say any of this to Coach Prime's face. Um, but the media, they, let, they allow the media to gas them up. So at the end of the day, no matter if Coach Prime wins all his games this year or he loses three straight. What he's done in the past three games is the best that this team has looked in a while. And it's funny how they devalue or, or, or take value away from the wins. You know, now they say TCU ain't good. Last year they were talking about how great they were. Now when uh, the Colorado beats them this year, now it's luck. Now when he beats Nebraska, oh, Nebraska ain't good like that. Okay, now let's say he happens to lose or went beat this team, Colorado State. Oh, you're supposed to win. Oh, if he lose, see, I told you he wasn't legit. It's like it's just really just sad that no matter what narrative, you're always going to go with something in the negative. But at the end of the day, this brother, this brother is doing good. He's generating a lot of revenue for college football. I think he can do it. I actually think he can have his own league, get with a couple other brothers and start their own league. Uh, because they're box office, um, but yeah, uh, you know he's he's done so so much for this team. Got rid of the players that that weren't a good fit for the team, um, and you know they're rolling. So it is what it is. But it's just interesting the fact that these coaches that are hating on him and him them being in them facing Colorado is putting more eyes on their team, which is generating more revenue and more dollars. But keep hating.